Hey, welcome to Kids Rock Online. My name's Fred. I'm the kids pastor here at Rock Hills Church. And it's our back to school luau for the next couple of Sundays. We have another fun Connect Station adventure ready for you all to watch. And then Dodo, he's coming to join me for our Bible memory verse. So you all listen carefully and learn the words with the motions as our Connect friends rehearse the verse. And after our motion song, my dad, Shirter Burger, she's going to come help me with our big idea. And Deb and I, we have a special back to school contest called Luau and Kisses. And at the very end, we'll have a fun prize for the blessed winner who can guess correctly. Okay, are you ready for that? So in the meanwhile, are you ready for now to do our big three? You know, when Dodo counts to three, how he does it, he goes one, two, four. I think we better send him back to school for you all so he can have some more math classes. What do you guys think? All right, our big three is this. We're gonna count it correctly. One, learn a lot. Two, live it out. And three, that's right, have fun. Mike here. And Luke. And today we're talking about making disciples. Yep. And when Kate was on the station a while back, you know that that wasn't as easy as it seems. And it may not be easy, but it's our most important mission. You'll see why when we rehearse, rehearse the, the verse. verse. And today's verse is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. Say it like this, Matthew 28, 19. So you must go and make disciples of all nations baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And that was a long one. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say it, and you're going to repeat after me. Got it? Got it. Matthew 28, 19. Matthew 28, 19. So you must go and make disciples of all nations. So you must go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Great job. Now the key word here is go. You have to get out there to make disciples and interact with people that may not even be in your friendship circle. Excuse me, good sirs, but can you spare a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Uh, Alyssa, we're already disciples. Oh man. How am I supposed to make more disciples if everyone on the station is already a disciple? Cloning. Oh, Mike. Oh, here's one. Dear Connect Crew, when I grow up, I want to teach kids about God, too. Also, do you baptize in space? Sincerely, rhyme and harp. Can we baptize in space? No. Well, what about an above ground pool? Mm, too wet, water would get on the floor, and slippery is unsafe. Oh, right. You know, that reminds me of something that's been bothering me. Um, Alyssa, what is our ABCs? Admit, believe, choose. Right. Luke. Who's your leader and number one friend? Jesus. See, we're all disciples. We can't make any new ones up here. That's not true though, right? I mean, we're up in space so that we can broadcast our videos all over the world teaching about Jesus. 
Well, I don't know, Alyssa. I mean, you remember when Kate was here? You and I tried our hardest to teach her about Jesus, but being a friend was better than anything. Exactly. Okay, so what do we do about it? I don't know. Hey guys, I have something that is going to blow everyone's minds. I was contacted by this scientist who knows the meaning behind those mysterious blueprints that I found in Dr. Emo's lab. I can't wait to find out. Hey everyone. Hi. I'm about to introduce you to a very special guest. Ray, you can't just spring something like that on me. I have to get my hair done and like a bajillion other things. It'll be fine, Alyssa, okay? All right, you made it, guys. <laughs> Wait, uh, hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, we just can't see you. Sweet cheese on a cracker. Hang on, give me a sec. We can see you, but we can't hear you. We can see you, but we can't hear you. I just can't hear you very well. We can hear you now. Sorry, I mean, you didn't have to yell or anything, but uh, uh, anyway, hi. Everybody, how are ya? I'm Ralph, I'm, uh, I'm, doc I'm, the, I'm the late Dr. Emo's lab assistant. Dr. Emo had a lab assistant? No, 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 <laughs> he has, has a lab assistant. I mean, I I'm still very much, you know, I'm holding down the fort, or the lab, I mean, down here on Earth. <laughs> Ralph, can you tell the guys what these are? You mean the designs for Connect HQ? Ooh, those look really cool. Before he died, Dr. Emo had been designing a brand new facility where all of his crew members could join forces and spread the good news of Jesus and make disciples in a way that had never been done before. You know, these look really safe. Indeed, safety's his middle name. Very strange, yes, I know, but we're gonna talk about that another time. The plans were completed, but, you know, Boss man never got to see the project actually finished. Oh, but I'm super psyched to let you know that the construction on the facility is almost complete. You guys could expect to move in, you know, really soon. Wait. Wait. Move, move in? in? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. You don't have to worry about life support, you know, or the coldness of space. Yeah, but we, we, we live here on Connect Station. Yeah, guys, but we're, we're talking about Earth, you know, our planet. Yeah, I mean, Dr. Emo, he, it wasn't his intention for the space station to be permanent. Uh, you know, I mean, research right now that we've been doing, it kind of suggests that, uh, you know, it's more effective for the work to be done here. I don't know, I'm still not sure. Okay, so Alyssa, your job is communications, right? So you, you get a lot of letters from the kids? Ooh, I love letters. What if I told you that answering letters and communicating with other people is the entire focus of Connect HQ? Since headquarters is actually gonna be here on Earth now, you're actually gonna have the chance to work directly with the kids that you'll actually be teaching super frequently often. I mean, the curriculum, it's, it's all set up. It's here in place. I just, you know, I need a crew to run the place. Thanks, Ralph. I'll get back to you about our decision, okay? Okay, cool. Uh, thanks. Really, a lot, got that's horrible English. Nervous. You guys are awesome, thank you so much for your time. How did that go? I feel really, I was really, it was well, right? It went well, it went very well, I think, you know? So I, 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 I just was so psyched. Really psyched, really, 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 really psyched to meet those guys. Um, the video caller is still on. Nope. Nope. How's that? Nope. Yeah, no. I gotta go! Thanks, guys! I think this new place is exactly what we need to reach more kids than ever. Yeah, but leaving the station's not gonna be easy. This has been my home for years now. Well, even though it might be hard, I don't think we should let that get in the way. Luke is right. We shouldn't let anything keep us from making more disciples. I have a Bible story I want you guys to see. Okay, so Peter and John, they faced far worse circumstances when they were making disciples, but they never let that stop them. Here, you'll see what I mean. This is a 60 
66 picks mixed up into one The book's about God, who he is and what he's done It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind Old Testaments are set up for the big event When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Let us know up all the pages that this show gone off. Let us world explode from this video into your life. Peter and John were going to the temple one afternoon to pray when they saw a man who had never been able to walk in his whole life. Each day, the man sat at the temple gate begging people for money. Can you spare any money for a poor man who can't walk? I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I have something even better. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Peter helped the man stand up. As he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed. The man began walking, leaping, and praising God. When the people saw this, they were amazed. People of Israel, why are you so surprised? Why are you staring at us as though we did this all by ourselves? God did this so that everyone can know the power of his son, Jesus. Many people believed what Peter and John said, and they decided to become followers of Jesus too. Some Jewish leaders became bothered by Peter and John's teaching. They arrested Peter and John and had them put in jail until morning. The next day, they brought Peter and John to a large group of the men who ruled the whole kingdom. Even the high priest was there. By what power or in whose name did you heal that man? Rulers and elders of our people, are you holding us captive and asking us these questions because we've healed a crippled man? Do you want to know how he was healed? Let me be clear. The powerful name of Jesus healed this man. You crucified Jesus, but God raised him from the dead. Believing in Jesus and following him is the only way to be saved. There is no other way. The rulers were amazed by Peter and John's boldness. They knew Peter and John had been with Jesus. And since everyone could see with their own eyes that the man who couldn't walk was now healed, there was nothing they could do. Still, they tried to find a way to stop Peter and John. Fine, we will let you go. But you aren't allowed to ever speak or teach about Jesus ever again. But Peter and John refused. Do you think God wants us to obey you rather than him? <laughs> no way. We cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. The council tried to scare Peter and John into staying quiet about Jesus, but it didn't work. Finally, they let Peter and John go. They couldn't punish them without making the crowd angry. After all, everyone was praising God for healing a man who had never been able to walk. See, no matter what they faced, Peter and John never stopped preaching the good news or making new disciples. And I don't think that we should let anything stop us either. And that means the fear of what's new. Yeah, but why can't we make disciples from up here? Why do we have to leave? Because we are all already disciples. I think we just need some more time to think about it. Our friends seem deeply troubled about how they go about making disciples. Maybe they are forgetting this week's point. Friends, say it with me in three, two, one. Disciples make disciples. Very good. I wonder which choice our friends will make. Hey, Nitro, can I talk to you for a second? What seems to be the trouble, Captain? Well, I know that going to this new headquarters is what we're supposed to do, and that's why I've been pushing it so much. But when I'm honest with myself, I just... You feel more comfortable with the station? Because it is familiar to you. Yes, exactly. I don't know much about this Connect HQ. I know how to be the captain of Connect Station. But what if this new place is totally different? It is perfectly natural for humans to seek comfort more than anything else. New things and experiences are often uncomfortable. Being a robot 
I am afraid I cannot sympathize with you. Maybe not, but thank you anyway. You're the best listener I know. I'm gonna go... to the room. Hello, Ray. How can I help you? Hey, room. Um... Well, there's no easy way to say this. There's a chance that the crew could be leaving the station. What? How did this happen? Well, this scientist, Ralph, he showed us this, this new headquarters that's being built, and it seems that the best choice is for us to go there so that we can reach more people than ever. And yet, you hesitate to leave? Leaving means saying goodbye to so many things that have become a part of our routine. No more space. No more transporter. No more. It will be all right, Ray. Going out and making disciples is the greatest calling any of us could ever hope to have, even when it means saying goodbye to things we love. Peter and John, they never stop teaching about Jesus, no matter what, even when they were threatened. Peter and John knew full well the risks they were taking by telling others about Jesus. But to them, any risk was worth fulfilling the Great Commission. Matthew 28, 19. So you must go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I know that's true. And while it may be hard, I'm a disciple and disciples make disciples. That's the point. Disciples make disciples. I connected the dots. Thanks, Room, for everything. I'm happy to help, Ray. Guys, I know this new headquarters will be different. And to be honest, I'm nervous about the change, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. Disciples make disciples. Disciples make disciples. Now that sounds like a good point to me. I've already made my decision. If this new station is gonna help us reach more kids for Christ, I'm in. Count me in. Me too. So when do we leave? <laughs> Guys, we can't just up and leave a space station. There's still a ton of stuff that we have to get ready before it's time. Great, it gives me time to say goodbye to the station. Hello, silver tube thing that I don't know what it does. I love you, couch. Ooh, I love you, table. <gasps> I love you, camera. Mike, they can't see what we're doing when you do that. Oh, right. I knew that. Yeah. Well, it's been a crazy day. And change can be difficult sometimes, but we don't let difficult things stop us. Mm. So how about we say the point together? Mm. Hmm? Disciples, disciples make, make disciples. disciples. And as disciples, we have been given a mission that's been passed down from disciple to disciple for hundreds and hundreds of years, tracing all the way back to Jesus himself. And that mission has been recorded in today's verse. Let's say it together. Okay. Matthew 28, 19. So, so you must go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now this week, Get out there and strike up a conversation with someone you don't know about Jesus. You may never know, you might find a new disciple. Excuse me, good sirs, but can you spare a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Alyssa, I, I, I said someone you don't know. Oh. Loaning. Big changes are coming. And yes, I may be nervous even a little scared, but I know that it will all be worth it if we can keep making disciples. We have the greatest mission ever, from the greatest leader ever. If you want to make Jesus the leader of your life too, just remember A, B, C. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. 
Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Hey, welcome back, kids. And look who's here, and he's on time. It's Dodo. Hey, boys and girls. It's so cool to be here for our back to school luau. How you guys, how you like my leg? It, it matches my hair, it's, it's really cool. Oh, I think it's so cool. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. All you are starting a brand new school oh, year yes. and you're going to see your old friends yep. and hopefully you'll be making some new friends. Oh yeah. Are you kids ready to go back to school? Yes. <laughs> hey, 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 Fred. Did you know my dog? He's he goes to school too, but he's going to obedience school. Ah, and and okay. who wants to see what Huey looks like? Here, we'll we'll show you a picture. Aw, isn't Aww, he so, so cute. cute? I like his hair. It's kind of like your hair a little bit. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, he looks a lot like me, Fred. Yep. And you know, Fred, I have good memories of school back when I was a kid, and, and that's where I learned to, to mesmerize. So good, With, with your brain? Yep, yep, with okay. my big brain. Okay. But but sometimes, my teacher, they would just, they just shake their heads sometimes when I give them answers to the questions they ask me, Fred. Like, like this one time, Fred, this one time, my teacher, she gave me this word problem, and she said, if you had six oranges in one hand and seven apples in another hand, what would you have? And I told her, <laughs> You'd have really big hands, but but then Fred, but then she just shook her head just like what you just did. Yeah, uh, but then Fred, then then she asked me another question this other time, and she said, "Where was the Declaration of Independence signed?" And I'm, I said, at the bottom. Oh, okay. All right. She probably shook her head again. All the time. <laughs> hey, besides learning, school also mm -hmm. gives us an opportunity to share and show our faith in Jesus to our classmates. Oh, yes. Our Bible verse today is about going to others mm -hmm. to share God's good news and oh. make disciples. Oh, Fred, I, rem I remember mesmerizing last week what a decide pill is, Fred. It's, it's, I'm gonna tell you, Fred, it's, it's one, someone who follows Jesus, two, someone who learns from Jesus, and four, it's someone who lives for Jesus. You said four? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I think we better send you back to school for some more oh. math with the kids. Oh, okay, all right. okay. All right, Dodo, you ready? We're going to do our ready. big verse for today. Okay. All right, Dodo, are you and the kids, are you ready to follow yep. me? Yep. So, everybody, let's stand. Stand up. And we're going to say our verse really loud. Right, I want to see your very best motions. Are you ready? It's Matthew 28 19. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Matthew 28 19. Matthew 28, 19. So you must go. So you must go. To make disciples. To make disciples. To all nations. To all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father. Baptize them in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Very good. Oh. All right. <laughs> hey, Fred, I'm a, I'm a disciple who wants to help others follow Jesus, learn about Jesus, and live for Jesus. That's why Jesus, he commanded us to go yep. to others to share and show those around us yep. our faith in God mm -hmm. so that they'll want to be disciples just, just like, like us. us. That's, That's right. right. You know, Jesus, the word, the Bible calls this the Great mm. Commission. Okay. Or some people like to say the Great Go Mission. Oh, go. Yeah, hey, Fred, do uh, you hear that, Fred? I do. I'm ready to do this week's motion song. Are, are you kids ready? All right, let's get our clappers going. Are you kids still standing? Let's do a motion song. It's called We Lift You Higher, all right? And you know what? It has some fun freestyling, so you do your best motions. Stay close to me, oh Lord, and lay me down, down by the waters, your love abounds. Straight. 
Welcome back, kids, and look who's with me. It's my Deb. With our back to school luau, we're having a contest that all our kids, rock kids, whether in person or online, can try to win our prize that I'm holding right here. It's a whole container of Hershey's chocolate kisses. Have you ever seen that many kisses all in one place? I guess you could say luau and kisses instead of love and kisses. What do you think? Deb, did you know, I gotta do a dad's joke here, okay. right? are right. you ready? Do you know what the dad volcano in Hawaii said to the wife volcano? No, what? He said, I love a you. I love you. I love wow. a you too. You're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let you kids guess how many kisses are in this container. Whoever's closest gets all of these chocolates. And you tell your parents how many Hershey Kisses you think is here, and then you have them email me at the address on the bottom of the screen. It's spread at myrockhillschurch.com. But here's the catch. The deadline is 6 p.m. tonight. We're talking Sunday, August 23rd. Deb, you know, I asked Dodo how many kisses he thought was in there, and you know what he did? He goes, one, two, four. You kids, there's more than four, right? I think there's a lot, a lot more than four. <laughs> Who out there is going to win? Oh, I see, I see them raising their hands. They're so excited, all right? All right, so you guys, are you ready to go back to school? The one thing you want to do is you want to be a friend. With your old friends, make new friends, share with them the good news about Jesus, all right? So you want to be like the early disciples. You know what they would pray? They would pray and ask God for boldness. Sometimes it's scary to talk to someone about God, but you just ask the Holy Spirit within you to give you boldness, and you'll not only share Jesus with others, but hopefully they'll listen and want to be a disciple just like you. Could I leave you guys, you and the kids, with our big idea? All right, I'm ready. All right, Fred, okay. you and the kids say it after me. Okay. You ready? Disciples make disciples. Disciples make disciples disciples. That's right. Okay, until next time, we'll see y'all soon on Kids Rock Online. Bye! Bye.